Good morning, everyone. We are headed out east today. Um, I got the boat behind me. Probably can't see it because of the car seat, but we're going out east today. Um, we're going to go out to uh, Richland Chambers. I don't fish out here as much as I used to, but I kind of want to get back to fishing a little more, so I'm going to come out here and look and see what we can find. Um, I got a good idea of where some fish are. It's just going to be a matter of getting to them. So we're going to have to get over here and see. I don't know what the wind's going to be like. It's supposed to be light, but y'all know how that goes. It never goes according to plan. So we're going to get over here and just see how it is. If it's not too bad, we'll get over there and, and start looking. So let's see. I'm super excited. I haven't been out east in a long time. You guys, I've been having to stay real, real close. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting out east and, and getting away from the city. So let's see. big time down here in Texas um, that's a pretty good uh, indicator for me um, a lot of people have like different types of trees that they believe that when they bloom fish are spawning um, me that's blue bonnets blue bonnets usually when they're out um, when they're out the bites uh, the crop you're spawning somewhere so gotta get water burger that's a must when you're on the road. Got to. All right, we made it. The boat's sitting over here waiting on us. I uh, fished her quite a bit. I've never been to this part of the lake before, which is pretty interesting. Um, we're gonna see you guys. I really don't know. There's some timber right here. Um, this little store actually is pretty nice we're gonna hop in this boat and get in the water and, and try and see if we can get where we want to all right all right we made it and apparently this is a pretty popular spot there's lots of boats in here it's so amazing how this tangles like this um but we're gonna kind of just look around. I've never fished this spot before in my life, but as soon as you get in here, you can smell the fish. So they're here somewhere. I think I might have found some over here too. They're just looking to be like scattered on the bottom, if I would have to guess. So we're just gonna cast around a little bit. It's really windy. Hopefully this wind dies down a little bit later. sure what I'm seeing here First one, you guys. What a nice fish. I'll throw her in here. I'm keeping a limit for my in-laws today. Some for me too, so. Okay, so those are crappie. So. Casting for these crappie like this can be really, really good. When they're sitting on bottom like this, that might be a sandy or something. Yeah, it's a sandy. Uh, it's a fat one too. Oh, these fish are warm. When these crappie are just scattered on the bottom like this, this casting is going to be hard to beat, I think. Water 60. Almost 63 in here. Pretty much 63. Thank you. 
want that those banks with a little bit more depth too it seems like There's one. Look at that one. Finally. Uh, that's a keeper. Using that camo's custom hand tie right here. That took long enough. Oh, he was not coming off either. It's a nice one. Throw him in there. They're gonna make you work today for one, that's for sure. Fish was just on no really nothing, no kind of cover. There's one. Got him. Nice female right there. Look at that one. Sweet. What a nice one. See how quick that fish bit too? Sweet. Uh oh, I don't know what that was, but it's a nice fish. not a lot of cover with depth in this creek and that's why that fish was on that because this is the only thing out here with any kind of depth on it which tells me if we can find some more stuff with this depth then we'll be productive someone cut this tree and put it in here like this Well, y'all, I don't know. I know one thing. I really hate these uh, spawning crappie, you guys. They're just so wishy-washy. Here one day, gone the next. They're just so temperamental, and they just get to the point where I just don't want to fish for them. Um, I did today. Caught a few. You know, nothing crazy. Um, and the ones I caught just kind of told me that we're kind of early still somehow. I don't know. But that's the best thing I can tell you guys is get out there and, and, and look. You just never know. Um, there's some cows over here on the bank looking at me. They look cardinal too. Um, yeah, just out here looking. Just I didn't do any good really today, but caught a few. Man, I get in little creeks like this with this like textbook cover like this little stump just overhanging you know button willows and stuff like that just textbook stuff water is like 65 degrees and nothing not even a bite in this creek this is the second creek i've been to um that's just how it goes with these spawning crappie but don't give up keep looking i'm gonna keep looking but yeah and this is a part of the reason too i don't guide for i don't I prefer to guide for white bass um, in the creeks this time of year just because these crappie are just, they're they are too hit or miss and I, I just don't want to get into that to where, you know, I got money on the line trying to get you guys to catch some fish and those fish leave or, you know, that's why that post spawn bite is just so much better for me, but we'll get there. I am going to get some videos out for some spawning fish. I um, hope you all enjoyed this one. It was a very productive but i hope you know at least maybe y'all learn something and and see what i look for i'm getting the back of these creeks very very backs of pockets right now and that's where i would look for these spawning fish look for that water to be 60 plus 
that water needs to have a little stain to it really help those fish get shallow and stay after them move 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 cover water so hope you all enjoy don't forget to subscribe if you haven't hit that notification bell that way every time i post you guys get notified and uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy and leave a comment down below i'll definitely get to it thanks again for all support you guys um, i'm out here almost every day that i can and uh, i'm out here looking for fish sand bass crappie hybrids everything so hope you all enjoy catch the next one y'all take it easy